In this video, I am going to be revealing four price action secrets that will change the way you trade. But before we start, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss on any of our new videos. With that being said, let's get into today's video. When it comes to trading, a lot of traders focus on finding the perfect indicator. So they chase the moving average, RSI, MACD, stochastics, etc. But the truth is that, all of these indicators are lagging indicators. This means that they use price as an input. Therefore, they signal an uptrend after the price has already moved. I am not saying that you should not use indicators. In fact, indicators are a great way to confirm your bias. The point I am trying to make is that, we should focus more on the raw price chart and focus less on indicators. Price action analysis means using the raw candlestick chart to analyze the market without using any indicators. Here are four price action secrets that will change the way you trade. Secret number one. The price has a mean reversion tendency. The price of any asset has a tendency of mean reversion. This means that the price cannot stay away from its average for a long time. To understand this concept, let's plot a 50 period EMA. Here we can see that the market was clearly in a strong downtrend. But whenever the price moved far away from the moving average, a strong up move will follow soon. Hence, the price does not stay away from the moving average for longer durations. The same thing is applicable in an uptrend. As you can see, whenever the price moves away from the moving average, the price creates a reversal and gets attracted back to the moving average. So, in other words, we can say that the moving average attracts the price like magnet. Therefore, whenever we notice that the price is far above the 50 period EMA, then we can look for selling opportunities. Our target should be the moving average itself. Similarly, when we see that the price is far below the 50 EMA, we will look for buying opportunities. And the target will be the moving average. Secret number two. Shallow pullbacks lead to a large moves. When the price is in a trend, it does not move in a straight line. Instead, it moves in a zigzag pattern. The price moves that are against the trend are called as pullbacks. Pullbacks are a result of fatigue and profit taking among traders. Hence, pullbacks can provide us with a lot of information about the traders. A common practice of technical analysts is to measure the pullback with a Fibonacci retracement tool. By default, the Fibonacci comes with a lot of price levels. But, I like a cleaner chart. Hence, I only use three levels. 0 0.382, 0 0.5, and 0 0.618. Now, to measure the pullback, we will plot the Fibonacci by connecting the low of the move and the high of the move. The secret here is that when the price makes a pullback, if it does not go beyond 0 0.382 level, it is called as a shallow pullback. Shallow pullbacks lead to a larger move. For instance, look at this chart. Here we see the market make a strong down move. So, we plot the Fibonacci retracement tool to measure the pullback. As you can see, the pullback is short and shallow. It does not go beyond the 0.382 level. Hence, we can expect a strong down move. And as you can see, there was a sharp sell-off after the shallow pullback. Look at this chart. Here we see a strong down move. So we plot the retracement tool and wait for the pullback. In this case, the pullback pushes up until the 0.618 level. Hence, it is a deeper pullback. The market does move downwards in this case as well. But the down move was a normal move. It was not as large as the previous one. So, shallow pullbacks lead to a large move. Secret number three. 
Big body candles show conviction. When it comes to candlesticks, a lot of traders focus a lot on the upper and lower wicks of candles. But the secret is that wicks are not as important as the body of the candle. Candles with big bodies convey a strong message. For instance, look at this candle. This candle is a green candle that has a large body and no wicks at all. This candle was formed because buyers found this price so attractive that they started buying in huge quantities. The buying pressure was so high that the price kept going up. The sellers were so weak that they could not fight back against the buyers. Hence, the candle had a strong close. So, we see this large candle, and we can say that this price was very attractive for the buyers. Hence, if the price comes back around this area, the buyers will once again come into action and buy again. That is exactly what happens here. The price comes back into this area and the buyers push the price upwards. All of this happened because we noticed the big body on this candle and understood the meaning behind it. On the other hand, if we look at these set of candles, we can conclude that the body size of these candles is very small when compared to the previous candles. These candles indicate an indecision in the market. Neither buyer nor the seller is interested in trade. They are just reacting to the forces of each other. Hence, we see a period of consolidation. Secret number four. Momentum matters. By definition, momentum means the rate at which something moves. In our case, we are talking about the rate at which the price moves. On a price chart, momentum can be measured by the angle of a particular move. We don't need to know the exact angle of the move, but we want to compare two moves to find out if the latest move is steeper or more gradual. For example, look at this chart. Here we can see that this up move is steeper than the previous up move. This means that the buyers are still stronger and have gained strength. In other words, the up move has gained momentum. Hence, we can expect the trend to continue. On the other hand, if we look at this chart, here we see that the recent up move was gradual and shallow than the previous up move. So, the momentum has been reduced. So we can expect the market to reverse. And that is what happens. The market sees a strong downtrend very soon. That brings us to the end of this video. If you like this video, then be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss on any of our new videos. See you soon.